Now available in paperback and e readers Easting, Little Girl Lost, The Devilish Defense, A Lost Little Girl, Find Her Way Home, and This Devilishly Funny Easting Series Adventure. Get Easting, Little Girl Lost, in paperback and e readers today. I was watching the Channel 11 News last night, and they were doing a story about this young black teenage girl who was viciously and violently assaulted by seven or eight other black teenage girls who were making efforts to steal her cell phone. And while these girls were viciously kicking this girl, stomping on this girl, and punching this girl, one of the other teenage girls decides she's going to take out her cell phone and record this carnage and broadcast it to Facebook Live. And while I was watching the story of this black girl being viciously assaulted by other black girls for her cell phone, I immediately thought about that group of black women who were leading this YouTube hit list to get the channels of black men who present critical opinions of black women flagged, deleted, and removed from the YouTube network. And the reason why I was thinking about it is because here we have a generation of girls going out here using social media to broadcast themselves to participate in an act of criminal behavior. And there's not a single word said by your cabal of fascists about this behavior. Here we have a clear violation of freedom of expression under the Constitution, yet there is no protest from any of these black females about this behavior. When somebody takes social media and decides to use it to broadcast criminal activity, this is considered illegal activity because this is the promotion of violence, this is the promotion of harm to others, yet there is not a single word said from your girl who swirls, your born-again bitter Christian, or your blonde-haired lawyer regarding this type of behavior. Again, this is the type of behavior that pretty much you would think black females would be going out to try to fight against because this is considered the type of behavior that is degrading to the image of black women. The fact that we had seven or eight black girls attacking another black girl and then yet another black girl putting it on a video for Facebook Live to be broadcast as entertainment, that's more degrading to the image of black women than the opinions of a group of black men. Now those black men are being critical in their opinions, but I can't think of anything more devastating and more harmful than these black women taking time out of their day, these little black girls, to broadcast themselves viciously beating up another black girl to steal her cell phone and then broadcast it as entertainment. How is this degrading to the image of the black woman? Because it says that the black woman pretty much has failed as a parent to raise these black girls. Because when we look at these black girls who are the products of other black women who were their mothers, if this is the behavior they are participating in, it tells us that they were raised with no discipline, no values, no morals, and no self-control. And that's far more degrading to the image of these black women than anything else. However, they think taking their time to put the names of black men, white men, and black women who criticize this type of behavior is more constructive than actually going out to deal with these Negro children of the corn who were raised by black women. I wonder, where is your girl who swirls? Where is your blonde-haired lawyer with her wig cocked side to her head? And where is your born-again Christian, bitter Christian, when it comes down to dealing with matters like this? Because these matters were something that these black women said that they could handle. They said that they could not only raise a boy to manhood, but they could raise your black woman to womanhood. And we clearly see from the behaviors that these Negro children of the corn are participating in that she has clearly failed in that aspect because here we have black females who are not going to college or going to school they are terrorizing their own neighborhood in the same way that these cabal of fascists are trying to terrorize social media they're going to try to crush anyone who disagrees with them or try to crush anyone to take whatever they want they want to control everything and this is the behavior they have learned from their mothers from their grandmothers and even their great-grandmothers who participated in the feminist movement 
over 50 years ago. We can clearly follow the timeline and look at these behaviors being participated in by these young teenage black girls, and we can see a progression of how this savagery and the roots of it came from. Because here we have this group of black girls attacking another black girl, and instead of these black women going out here and talking about raising a campaign to deal with mentoring these young girls so that they will learn why this behavior is reprehensible and egregious, why this behavior pretty much makes black girls look bad, and how this behavior pretty much breathes all sorts of new life into old racist stereotypes regarding black women, regarding the sapphire and the, and all, and the black brute. It just, it, it pretty much, you would think they would be trying to make efforts to deal with these teenage girls, but no, opinions on one social media channel are considered far more offensive to that cabal of fascists than actual behaviors by real black girls, which pretty much degrade the image of black women. Because I look at that behavior online that went viral on Facebook Live, and that was far more degrading to the image of black women than one single YouTube channel or one single YouTube video that criticizes this behavior. And the main reason why these black females want to create things like these hit lists is because they don't want to be held accountable for the fruits of their loins and the fruits of their values, which are these Negro children of the corn who stalk the streets looking for vulnerable prey to jump on, like that black teenage girl who they wanted to rob for her cell phone. Now, I look at that behavior as a man who was a victim of a violent crime back about 25, 26 years ago by a same similar type of mob on a train of teenage boys and girls. And when I looked at that behavior, it pretty much disgusted me because it showed me that nothing had changed in the black community in almost two and a half decades regarding black behavior. That no parents have made efforts to deal with these black savages out here at all. I mean, you sit there and you say to yourself, 27 years ago, you got robbed on a train by a similar mob. You would think that someone would be making efforts to try to teach these kids different values. But no, the values actually have gotten progressively worse because I look at the behavior of that mob and I can pretty much see the roots of that behavior in their mothers and their grandmothers who pretty much raise these young women to be these violent brutes who go out here terrorizing people and terrorizing their community instead of trying to build up their community. And when I look at that cabal of YouTube fascists, I see the same type of bully behavior being taught, you know, be, being on display for everyone to see. I look at the pattern and I clearly see it, Did you, but right in front of me, the bullying, the violence, and there's nobody in that group of cabal of YouTube fascists to sit there and say, you know, we need to do something about this. No, we don't want to do anything about that. We would rather make efforts to censor opinions which present and, and expose this behavior because you don't want to be held accountable for it and accountable for your ineffectiveness in raising this generation of Negro children of the corn who pretty much go out here and terrorize their community and make it an, a place where no one can have any sort of quality of life and only people who pretty much make money in this community are black pastors and foreign store owners and the whole quality of life in the neighborhood pretty much collapses because these these women just don't want to be responsible for their part in making this mess for them it's just the black man's fault the black man messed everything up and his opinions being presented online that's the problem when we look at clear action represented to us on screen being presented as entertainment by your children pretty much making a more powerful statement than any opinion presented in any YouTube channel by a black man, a white man, or a black woman who is critical of the dysfunctional behavior of black women online. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.